Brothers and sisters, I have a message again. Because I have been seeing people who are known trolls, who have been mocking those that are dying in the hurricanes. Do they really think that a life is so useless? Do they think that that life doesn't affect those that have just lost that person? Laughing at what we are trying to put up in order to try and warn people, in order to save lives, is so wrong. What are you like as a person? You must be so evil inside. That is so... <sighs> pitiful. Behaviour. It is, it is wrong and you know it. Yet you persist in laughing at people's death. At laughing at people's... You're laughing at their expense. And you are so demonic in your behaviour. Isn't there any kind of core of good within you that you have to do this? And to drag people down? People, though are now waking up to you. They are now realising the Messiah is here and that they shouldn't have even bothered to listen to you in the first place. You have dragged so many people down you have got their blood on your hands. Enough is enough. We all know where you are going to. And that is the pits of hell. And uh, several of us are going to be sitting on the sidelines with our popcorn watching you burn. So, are you proud of yourself? Because you're pathetic. Laughing at people dying is so wrong. There are many people in California and other places now that's got these fires in America. They're losing everything they own. They're losing family members. And you think it's funny. Shame on you. You're pathetic. And talking about patheticness is the way that people seem to think that Harp or Bluebeam have things to do with the storms. They're even accusing Trump, for goodness sake, of creating these storms. But the truth be known, it is our Lord who is giving these storms because it's the chastisement of Babylon. Read your Bible. He's come with a two-edged sword. Not to hand out hugs. And like I said, think of this. In the ancient times, there were storms. Storms brought on by the Heavenly Father. Yes, the plagues brought on by our Heavenly Father. There was no such thing as Bluebeam, harp. Think about it. They use natural events to chastise those who are ignorant, those who are stupid, and are blind. 
And he's doing it again. Now, in modern time. And you think, ooh, blue beam. Ooh, harp. Rubbish. All you're doing is showing your ignorance and your stupidity by thinking these things. And Satan's got you so blind you think it's right. Time to grow up. You need to grow up. You need to spiritually mature. And saying things like harp or blue beam is not showing your maturity. It's showing the complete and utter opposite. Wise up. Wake up. You'll see what's coming. And when it does, and it's not long off at all, it is she days away, you'll be begging for mercy. I just hope you are prepared. Love God. Love each other. Amen.